Chapter 1211 dates back to 1916, when it was not a numbered chapter, only sterilization, and covered general information related to sterilization processes. In 1984, it was given chapter number 1211, and in 1985, it was expanded to sterilization and sterility assurance of compendial articles. The industry has generally appreciated the distinction between depyrogenation and sterilization. The confusion and misapplication of technologies for dry heat processes were often observed, and for other depyrogenation processes, the need for different development and validation has needed clarification. Moist heat sterilization may be accomplished with various equipment and processes, and these are highly affected by the item to be sterilized. Solid surfaces of equipment have different heating properties and may require removal of entrapped air by vacuum and subsequent drying. Aqueous products tend to heat at more uniform rates as the liquids absorb heat from the steam, causing condensation which in turn collapses, pulling more steam to the container of the liquid. A technical discussion was proposed to help the industry establish a common knowledge base and terminology to build upon. USP is exploring several options for products that are not labeled sterile. The current chapters 61, 62, 63, and 1111 provide a starting point and are mostly harmonized. USP is currently validating methods for detecting Burkholderia sapacea complex species, and these methods would be in a new chapter. Testing technology for microbiology methods have remained very constant in order to allow the various testing laboratories to use a method that can be done at any site. However, this also keeps these methods static and perhaps stifles innovation. There are several sterile product classes that are not suitable for the conventional USP 71 sterility test and need a test that provides results before their shelf life has expired and the product is in the patient. For example, cell therapy products, short-lived radiopharmaceuticals, and compounded therapies for immediate patient use. USP is also interested in other tests that provide results closer to real time.